The meteorological agency has issued a warning for tsunami up to six meters deep, uh, six meters high, and this is what's happening right as we speak. Hello, my name is David Admiral, and I'm a professor of civil engineering here at the University of Nebraska in Lincoln, and I specialize in water resources and hydraulics. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about tsunamis. Tsunamis are formed when you have an earthquake, usually because there's a shift in the bottom of the ocean, and that causes displacement of the water, and that displacement causes a wave to form. When the wave travels through the ocean, the ocean is fairly deep, and it travels very quickly, and it, it's, very, it's not very perceptible from on the surface. And uh, it's, uh, the wavelength of this thing may be very long, so if this is the ocean, then you may just have a small rise in the surface. This rise in the, in the water surface contains a lot of energy, and it can travel very fast on the order of the speed of a jet plane even. When it gets to shore, where it's much shallower, then the wavelength of this wave decreases a lot because the speed of the wave decreases. When it slows down, the front end of the wave is traveling much slower than the back end, and so the back end of the wave catches up to the front end, and the wave starts to develop a higher and higher amplitude until it gets to the very shallow depths where it often breaks, and it's so high that it can cause damage to anything on the land surface near the ocean.